love this fucking oh. We're unmuted? It's a really unmuted. good way to it's a really good way to do you know the chicken dance is a really I wonder if the per, the person who invented the chicken dance would, I don't, like did it because they wanted to like air out the kids. I don't know who invented it, but you do it amazing. You guys ready? Three, two, one, transition. What's going on, friends? That's right. That was loud. I apologize. It is Friday night, Vape Stew Friday, and that means we're here to hang with you and do the fun stuff that we do. Uh, we don't have a guest tonight, but we do have a fun show. We're going to take a look at the Reload 26 RTA. I might even do a live build with color commentary um, due to these guys up here in the corner right here. Right here. Grab yourself something tasty to drink. I'm on a second round of antibiotics. I'm still coughing, so I apologize. It's going to happen. I will try to mute myself as much as possible. Turn down the Fat Man fan. It's kind of cold. But uh, I got myself a Newcastle Brown here tonight. Going to have a tasty, tasty treat. Uh, grab yourself your favorite vape. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. My name's Stan, and you have found the Tenacious TX Vapes channel. <laughs> bada bing bada boom vape stew what's going on friends say hello what up church what up church hello <laughs> oh crap let me open up the chat here <coughs> excuse me yeah um second round of antibiotics uh and i'm gonna have one beer i'm not gonna have a bunch of beers i'm gonna have one beer because i want it um, but, and I'm allowed to, damn it. But, uh, yeah, second round of antibiotics working, starting week four and feeling like crap, but that's okay. I'm here with you guys having fun and smiling. I'm excited to do vape stew with my friends. Uh, and they're, they're kind of excited to do vape stew with me. I would hope, um, That was your cue to jump in and say, yes, Stan. Oh, Woo! yeah, we, we love doing vapes too. <laughs> I love the vapes too. I really wish that there was a tickle emoji because that's what I was just trying to send to Red in the chat. Bro, hobag. Bro. What's up, Amish? Thank you very much for the $20 donation. He says, hashtag super friends, hashtag stu family. Um, man, that is much appreciated. Thank you very much. You know what? Let's do the darn thing where we get started off right. Thank you, Hobag. You just bought Stan some barbecue. We do a little thing called shout outs. Do we have a bumper? It's running right now. Listen, you gotta you gotta put with Nick Bissett on there so that way he can never not do it. <laughs> I have I actually have something to say about that, which I've never said before. Um, and I don't say thank you to the super friends, the Tenacious TX Vapes Patreon super friends. I don't say thank you to them enough. They're amazing. Um, I'm hooked. Uh, dude, super friends, you're getting hooked up with a killer deal, by the way. I just letting you know. I forgot to put it, post it, but you are. A killer deal. Um, but thank you very much for supporting the channel. All the bumpers and stuff you see, those were all built by, like, templates. Because I'm not great in After Effects. Those were all built by templates. All that stuff was paid for by the patrons. So, um, And I just bought two more for the email one, which I was working on. It didn't render in time. And then the throw it down the hill segment, but all those, uh, all that stuff that you see, fancy stuff or whatever, that was all paid for by the patrons. So thank you very much to those guys, Nick. Let's jump in to the shout outs now that I said thank you to the super friends. I appreciate you. Well, all right, there, Stan. Would you like me to do my radio voice? Always. <laughs> <clears throat> all right, so I'm gonna go off of the first one that I see here. Erwin Kopecky, welcome to the show. Lady Liberty, John Q. Geezer, how we doing? Livia Lee, our lovely moderator. Walter Publit, I hope I said that right. An advocate for liberty. Raging Vapors in the house. Tony liberty, Jenkins. liberty, liberty. <laughs> liberty, 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 liberty. <laughs> Tony Jenkins, Voodoo <laughs> 1013. How we doing? Anthony Ramella. 
Mike Berg's in the house, as well as our buddy Vapor Swaggins, who's not on the screen. There he is. <laughs> uh, let's see who else. Maddie J, David Wilson, Chris Carlson, Moto Vapor. We're going to do five more. Five, Broken Ohm. Four, Big Red Vapor Channel. Three, Shadow Link Vapor. Two, Fog Dog. And one, Robert Hale. Oh, you just turned into Hulk Hogan at the end, brother. Well, a little bit there, brother. Sorry. Rock 101 KLOL. I can only do that voice for so long. <laughs> thank you very much for the shout outs good sir um everybody here you guys are awesome i love it when we come in here and you guys jump in drop a like and start rolling the freaking chat uh it's so much fun to just read the chat uh before the show starts and i always have to make sure that we're muted or else um swaggins and mr daily vape tv will start uh commenting on what you guys say and making fun of me and saying dirty words over the uh the thing Oops. so yeah like that um <laughs> let's jump in let's start off with you know what let's go ahead let's do the old school thing and let's start at the beginning with the with the uh stew panel buffet and mr vapor swaggins what are you vaping on brah yeah i was just <clears throat> cleaning some vapor out of my mustache one of the only there's a very short list of negatives about having a mustache, especially when this glorious and bushy. Um, I could pick locks with some of these hairs, just put it that way. Um, one of the cons, lots of juicy vapor moisture in my upper lip region. Speaking of which, juicy vapors come out of this guy. This is the GT4S from Typhoon, Typhoon um, out of Germany. Buttery smooth, buttery, buttery, buttery smooth. Butter. Um, what are they called? Threads? Yeah, the Germans. <laughs> the Germans. The Germans. They have buttery smooth threads, man. K funds, very similar. They're made in Germany. Anyways, on top of the Stratum uh, V6M by OLC and Stratum. Inside of that, I've got Pango by Transistor Pineapple Mango. Next, I've got another Stratum mod. I got the Stratum V4 in white Delrin polished. Uh, with the Darv mouthful, uh, mouthful along in mouth along mode with um, steam tuners tank and 12 milligram detox for the boys. Detox, that's my jam, bro. 12 50. milligram? 50? Yeah, 12 milligram detox for mouth along. Woo! And, uh, last but not least, I've got my Aspen Mod Co. Monarch uh, Riley. First batch uh, with the TM24 Pro Trinity glass on top. And Bro, they there. have a new they have a new mod. Monarch does. Oh, you're they right. What mod, is that? The Bro. Hyperlight? Is that what it's called? It's all 3D Ult printed. Ultralight, I think. The uh, Ultralight, all 3D printed. Yeah, I think it's under 100 bucks too. Uh, inside of that, I've got Nazo by Transistor Pineapple with a little bit of sugar, and uh, that's me. What about you, Nicholas? What do you got going on? Oh, thank you for asking. Well, hold on. <laughs> I'm, I've been doing this thing on my show where I, all right, I get it all nice for people so they can actually see what I'm holding. Yeah. Yeah. Once again, rocking this weird. Holy setup. crap! Look at that. Setup. <laughs> I know it's really weird, but <laughs> this is the Steam Crave Aromamizer Plus Two RDTA. I really hope I said that right uh on top of the mag grip don't ask why i just am i don't know try bud dry all you want it's a very comfortable how model. long does a tank last you uh full day like 24 hours damn i've like just basically basically you bring that to work with you you vape that the whole time and you're good to go all day yep and i've oh, yeah i've filled my tank twice and i'm down to that much <laughs> liquid in Juice heads, blueberry lemon. This is uh, this is one and a half milligram. They make an awesome pair, like a Each a pair. pair. Yeah, you turned me on to them. Actually, you introduced me to the lady. There you go. Uh, next setup I've got is He's turned on to the lady. The old school <laughs> Doge X two Doge V. Wait, what is it? Doge X two. Is that what it's called? I ah, forget. Whatever that thing. So I built it the other night on my stream, and I've got it on top of the 
RX 21700. What was it called? RX 21700? Yeah, RX 21700. <laughs> That's what it was. Um, in there, I've got some of one of Swaggin's favorites, Karango by Transistor. Another one and a half milligram. Caramel mango. Never eaten a uh, mango with caramel on it. Karango, yeah, just Karango like is greater than Tango Melon. Just saying. Boom. Stan told you there. It's your show if you want to be Hitler on it. <laughs> I also have, I, I had to try this because they showed up at work today as a sample and they looked really cool. So I had to try a disposable that's like the size of, it's bigger than my thumb. It's massive. This is completely disposable. Um, but it supposedly has 1,500 puffs in it, whereas most times with a puff bar or dis other disposal, you get like maybe 300. Is that like a full size 18650? It sure looks like it, but it's not heavy enough to be it. I could hear it huh. rattling around in there nah, too. It's just a, it's just a, it's a dry cell battery. Yeah. yeah. And that's really all I have. And that's it tonight for me. Oh, and Stan, oh, you ready? Huh? Stan, it's your turn. Go. Okay. Sorry, they can't hear me coughing. Just you guys can because I keep muting it. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I've been having coughing fits. First and foremost, I have to show off. I got a cassette tape in the mail today, and it's purple. How dope is that? A cassette tape from Gunship, who also my new awesome T-shirt. Hell, yeah. I was dope. I was excited. That's not, a, I got a that's not a vape, dude. I don't care. It's, it's a, a cool ass t-shirt. It's one of my new favorite t-shirts and it came with purple cassette tape. How dope is that? Okay. Um, I don't have, oh, so I am rocking the Widowmaker RTA on top of this new boxer mod dual 21700 DNA 250. Um, inside that I just, I've never had a boxer mod before. Uh, Mr. Scott Zegans helped me acquire one and, uh, yeah, I'm enjoying it. It's hefty. It's a hefty. It's not heavy, but it's hefty. Inside that, I got a cereal vape that I haven't... I don't really like cereal vapes, but I've been enjoying this one. It's the One by Beard Vape Co. It's a strawberry donut milky cereal. I don't even know what it's called. It's just got pictures. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Also, I'm rocking the Velocity V2 on my Dull Dime. With the Vaptasia Strawberry Killer Custard, Michelle Lynn, I love you. Thank you very much uh, for the Dull Dime. I always cherish it. I've got the Heavy Hitter. The Heavy Hitter. With the, um, what's this thing called? The Axial Pro by Twisted Messes and Mass Mods. With the Killer Custard Strawberry in there as well. And last but not least, I am rocking the BAM Stratum V5 Submariner Focus with the Avatar on top. Uh, and inside that, I've got my 5150. This is the wrong bottle. My 5150 Detox. This is the Pandora's box bottle, but they're the same. So there you go. 5150. That's what's in there. And that's what I'm rocking this evening. Rocking some tanks. And some RDAs. That's what I got. That's what I got. Thank you very much. Why would you be blocked, Kip Drippers? You're not blocked, buddy. We see you. I actually tagged you a minute ago. I'm not living in the past. I'm not even going to open this cassette tape, Poon Sauce Mix Stink Pants. I'm just going to like put it up on the shelf and have it as a keepsake because it's awesome. <laughs> yeah, those will still work after, after the, the apocalypse, man. <clears throat> um have a actually deck yeah i think i do built somewhere. into my wall safe <laughs> <laughs> i think i do somewhere uh whole bag i actually did a video on the axial pro you can check out the video uh i did it on tuesday so that should be the video right before this can i do so two special shout outs real quick please i gotta mute All it right. anyway perfect uh you got me muted all right dane bentley i just want to shout you out while i'm muted thank you stan um, and also a very special shout out to the guy 
who went through last week's vape stew and took every, uh, he basically wrote down every timestamp for every time that Ashton, AKA Palmer's powders, uh, shot, uh, nose rockets. Uh, <laughs> if you don't know what a nose rocket is, I guess it's when you, That's when sweet. you fucking vape and the vape comes out of your nose. There you go. <laughs> but every single one you click on it and like all of a sudden, you know, two seconds later, or he's in the middle of shooting steam out of his nose. So thank you to you, sir. Tip of the hat, tap of the balls. Tip of the hat, tickle the taint. All is Ooh. good. If you ain't, you ain't. Yo, overdrips in the house. All right, so let's get this thing started. Tonight, we've got a couple of news articles to share with you. <coughs> I'm going to try to get through them without um, hacking up a lung. I really apologize, guys. I want to keep doing this stuff, and I keep doing it even though I'm sick, and I keep having it. I'm going to keep trying to do it, uh, so... Unless you guys just tell me that it's too gross, <laughs> then I'll stop. So here we go. Let's start off with what's the scoop? Where's Bevin Kagan? <laughs> Shed time? Oh. Blame him, sure. Stop blaming me. <laughs> this is fascism. <coughs> oh, but stay you muted. Can I, you want me to tell you why, like where the impetus for this article came from? Son of yeah, a yeah. bitch, I'm muted. Yes, good. Your fascism has been. Uh... Porn star Nacho Vidal held in Spain after man dies in toad venom ritual. I'm sorry for being muted. That, that, that's the article. Um, yes, Swaggins, tell us where it came from. So, uh. All of you know that Corona and all the issues that have been going on, you know, at least in the U.S., uh, plaguing the news networks, it's just been shit. You know, you constantly like looking at your wrist. If you have a smartwatch, your phone, and you're getting you're getting these pings from, you know, whatever. And I get the most glorious uh, ping yesterday from BBC, and the article. Let me just show you that I had to screenshot it because you just it's like in times where all news is just awful. It's like you get this and you're like, yes, you have to just take a moment and laugh. And literally, this is what it said. BBC News. A man died after inhaling a psychedelic poison in a mystic toad venom ritual. Now a Spanish porn star is under investigation. And I was just like, what? You can't make that up, man. So we found the article and now we're going to read it. Thank Spanish. you, Stan. Spanish police said the photographer died after inhaling the poison of an endangered North American toad. The mystic ritual reportedly took place. Mystic ritual reportedly took place at Mr. Vidal's home near the southern city of Valencia last July. A lawyer for Mr. Vidal said his client considers himself to be innocent, describing the death as an unfortunate accident. I was going to say uncomfortable accident. <laughs> The photographer named Jose Luis Abad by Spanish media used a pipe to inhale the substance, which is secreted from the secreted. secreted. There we go. <laughs> from the glands of the Bufo Alvarius, the toad also known as the Colorado River toad. I know why he died now. Don't make fun of me. It's the um, Bufo. It's supposed to go up the butt, bro. He put it up his nose. Bro, what do you, what, what the hell? Use the powerful toxin. Uses the powerful toxin to defend itself against predators in Mexico and southwestern U.S. states, where it's found in the Sonoran Desert. So, um, yeah, porn stars are uh, inhaling uh, toad venom, or porn star uh, <laughs> videographers <laughs> are inhaling toad venom. Next article. 
this one this one is uh, it's a big deal right now this could lead to a whole lot of craziness um, it it went live seven days ago and there's video okay um, from LiveScience.com. monkey steals COVID-19 blood samples from a lab technician in India video that went viral on social media showed the monkey thief in a tree a monkey attacks. The monkey thief <laughs> Hey, dude, did you see that monkey freaking ride a motorcycle up and try to steal that little girl? Holy crap, that was crazy. A monkey freaking rides a little motorcycle up full speed, jumps off, grabs a girl, drags her like, I don't know, 10 feet before he lets go. Huh? There's a GIF go. of it. Huh? There's a GIF of it. Dude, that's insane. I want to know who put the monkey on a motorcycle. Did he do it voluntarily? Was he trained? I, well, of course. He knew how to drive it, man. What do you think? This, this is monkey Tom Cruise? <laughs> 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 oh, Tom Cruise, he's terrible. A monkey attacked a lab technician on the campus of a medical school in India and ran away with blood samples from three patients affected with COVID. The robbed lab technician, meanwhile, took video with his phone of the incident after snatching the samples and other medical items. The video reveals the monkey clambered up a nearby tree. That video, which was shared on social media, also shows the animal gnawing on what looked like surgical gloves. The incident took place several days ago at the government-run Lala Lajpat Ray Remor Memorial Medical College in Uttar Pradesh, a state in northern India, and authorities made their first local... I think, I think we picked these articles because they have hard words. Authorities made their we first official these articles. statement on the theft today, according to NDTV. So there you go. You got monkey thieves that are trying to spread the COVID. Um, it's it's a real thing. It's not a conspiracy. It's happening. It's going crazy. Yeah, dude. Genetics. Haberdashery. All right, I got distracted. I don't understand what that means. Dame Bentley said, damn, see what happens when people can't get bath salts in K2. No, no harm, no foul. If we all, you know what? I saw an article about, about crop planes dropping THC over, over, over cities. And I think that's a great idea. Do it. I think that was a Photoshop or a Microsoft Paint <laughs> picture. Yeah, you know what? <laughs> But I can, it would be I an can awesome dream, idea. okay? <clears throat> All right. That was tonight's news. Next, we've got... Oh, goodness gracious. It's time for everybody's favorite new segment of the week that I don't have a bumper for because it didn't render in time. It's time for Throw It Down a Hill with Mr. Nick Bissett. Nick! Dude, what are we throwing down a hill this week, jobs. my good sir? <laughs> what? Why are you making me do stuff, Stan? I don't even have it pulled up. Well, Hold maybe on. you should be uh, paying attention. Uh, you know, you well, are like a member of this show and stuff, yeah, bro. Like, this is this is what you learn in life. The guy who raises his hand to get attention is the one who has to shovel the most shit. <laughs> What? Where's the poll, Stan? Sorry, the post got buried. Oh, there it is. All right. Er, McGird. Okay, this is everyone's new favorite show. Come on. So this week on Throw It Down a Hill, where we hypothetically throw things down a hill that are bad. So that was a thing in the Vapes Do Discord, and now we're kind of moving the Discord over to the show, basically. Yeah. So uh this week we have a choice uh, i like i said from the beginning these they're not gonna all be mods or tanks or rdas or whatever per week i'm just gonna mix up random products and just vote on it but this week's options were the vandy vape pyro rdta which apparently i don't know why are... i don't know why you put that one on there honestly dude the, the v1 was bad anyways the <laughs> hold on smoke... there it is right there Go ahead. Oh, you got the thing ready. Oh, uh, Smoke TF RTA, which is not their sub ohm tank. It was a standalone RTA yeah. made mm -hmm. by Smoke. Not a good idea. Anyways, and the iJoy Avenger mod, the one that you can talk to, like AI uh, thing. Hello, yeah. iJoy. 
Hello, oh, yeah. I joined. And it lasted about three months. <clears throat> yeah, and that was like the hype train central, like rainbowy colors and lights that flash and all that. Boy. So yeah, those are our three options for this week. And in third place was the Vandy Vape Pyro RDTA. Apparently a lot of people like that one. As it should have been, because that was not a bad tank. But, well, okay. So I'm just going to say that I think RDTAs in general should all be thrown down a hill, but (laughs) it's just me. Uh, But yeah, I guess uh, Demo said he liked that one. You guys need to help me out. If you have, like, you know, opinions about this stuff, you can email them to vapestew at gmail.com. You know, let me know a few products that you would want to throw down a hill. You know, DM me. I don't care. Whatever. That reminds me, vapestew at gmail.com. You want to get in on the email segment later on in the day, later on in the show. Uh, go ahead and send those emails, vapestew at gmail.com. Questions, yeah. comments, concerns, just flat out making fun of us. Feel free. Yeah. Vapestew at gmail.com. Every 15th email gets a free Dreamer 1.5. <laughs> Hummer from Swaggins. Continue, Nick. A hummer not applied. That's not no. appropriate. <laughs> Do not take Swaggin seriously. Uh, so yeah, that one got 10 votes. The next one and the one I voted for was the Smoke TF RTA with 16 votes. And in my opinion, I feel like that, that whole tank was just pointless. They just were cashing in on the RTA kind of craze. I mean, honestly, dude, at that time, it wasn't a bad tank. So what was the what was your? Oh uh, my god! Are you gonna criticize all of my choices? I am going to ask about all of them. Yes. What was the uh? What was the deal that with that? That was a good one? tank. <sighs> it wasn't that bad. Seriously. No. The TF. Mm, no. The whole system is flawed. The way they the like the position of where the wick ports were and like the uh, no the easy lock and unlock. For the You're defending control. smoke right now. You realize that. So what? That's okay. Uh, look, a company that puts out a thousand freaking products can't have all one thousand be terrible. Yes, but so what? Well, well, okay. So <laughs> I promised everyone that I would have a smoke product on every <clears> single <throat> one of these. So that was my entry for this week. Okay. All right. And that's mainly because I'm pretty sure there's still some at the shop. But um, and <laughs> with the winning votes of 35, 35 winning votes here, the iJoy Avenger mod. That one got my vote. <laughs> now I know Livia Hello, Lee. Moto. Livia Lee would always do a uh, hello iJoy in Discord. And I always got a kick out of that. Hello, so. iJoy. Can you say hello. it like the like the British lady um, maps girl? Google Maps girl? Oh Jesus. Hello. Well, I, I I'm not even gonna try. <laughs> the Scottish Alexa one. That's a good one. So, so, all right, tell us the deal. What's the deal with this one? The iJoy? Oh, it's gaudy and ugly, and I it's big enough to hold two 21700s or 2700s, but it's only 18650. The stupid lights on it, the fact that it never worked. It's Literally, you Avenger. can say, hello, iJoy, about 10 times, and it would be maybe three of them. It would actually work. Well, uh, oh, I join. <laughs> I'm not gonna ask that question or answer it, amigos and co. <laughs> it had a step counter on it too. That was a very strange mod. It was funny to watch the videos on that mod and to hear the people go, "Hello, I joy. Hello, I joy. Hello, I joy," and get all mad at it um, until it finally would work. You know, <clears throat> that is not true, money man. So, yeah, vaping and smoking is dead. Vaping is the future, and the future is now, money man. Except in Massachusetts and New York. And if vaping was dead, you wouldn't be here right now. Yeah. Rhode Island. Still not dead. Still not dead in those places either. Yeah, you can't roll down to the store, but that'll change because those governors are idiots. Uh, especially Cuomo and uh, what's her name? Witchmer. Can't stand that hoe. Um, I don't call ladies hoes except for Witchmer and the like. So there we go. That's that's ladies how ladies aren't hoes, bro. Hoes are a totally different class. 
Why? Because they do something good for uh, humanity? Let's not talk about prostitution on the show. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Well, if you want to be part of the uh, Throw It Down the Hill, Nick, tell them where they can do that at. So uh, I put up a post in the Vape Stew Crew Facebook page. Please go check that out. Uh, Facebook group, sorry. Page is different. But uh, yes, we are a Facebook group. The link is probably in the description, right, Stan? Say again. Is the link in the description to Vape Stew Crew? Uh, it should be, yeah. Should be. If it's not, one of our uh, awesome moderators will drop it in the chat for us because they're amazing. Well, there you go. And uh, yeah, we do a post. I put it up and you guys vote. That's it. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you very much. I like that segment. Um, next time I'm going to ask you to do a little bit more homework because I'm being told that the Avenger was a 2700, Mr. Nick. Oh, um, yeah. Sorry. No, it was 2700, <laughs> but it was like still massive. With those iJoy okay, 2700 so batteries. It came oh, with batteries, didn't yeah, it? Yeah, it did. It came with them. Yeah, that's a, that's a win in my book. God doesn't matter how much you have to yell at the mod. Again, please send me emails for ideas with this stuff. Vapestew at gmail.com. There you go. Yeah. Hey, you know what I'm feeling like? I'm feeling like right on time. It's 935. I'm feeling like learning a thing or two with a little bit of a that's a fact because knowledge is power. We're doing that now? All right. Yes, sir. You all right, Swags? What happened? Yeah, I was honing. You, your brain poking? I was basically getting, I was trying to teleport myself to the library. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Today we've got, we've got uh, some interesting facts about coffee because I hang out in the Discord and there are some coffee uh, sommeliers that hang out. And they're super hemo about their coffee, so I figured I would shed a little light. Uh, with the rest of the Stooges on this thing called coffee, because I don't know about you, but I love caffeine on top of nicotine. Um, It helps me to poop. (laughs) (laughs) So let's start with fact number one. Second in the world. It's the world's second largest traded commodity. Crude oil is first. So coffee Coffee is is the the second second largest? largest traded commodity. Uh, commodity in the world uh it's worth over a hundred billion worldwide wow it's <laughs> a lot of money i, I should have gotten the coffee industry you know i could eat some seeds and poop them out and uh, bag them up <laughs> speaking okay. of poop uh this actually isn't a fact about poop <laughs> number two hawaii is the only american state that grows coffee um i was i was going through these facts with demo because he's uh he's my my hemo uh coffee fact checker uh and he basically said that was false but he didn't let me finish reading so um i will add a little sub statement saying that hawaii is the only state but california has recently started growing coffee bushes um (laughs) because coffee requires high altitude tropical climates and rich soil Uh, number three coffee was discovered by a goat herder what (laughs) Amigos and Co. said Swaggins in the graphic looks like Will Smith's stunt double for a love flick. <laughs> Absolutely. Have you seen my the picture of me um, on Steve's Brown's hat? I, yeah. that, re- that required me going to my local rock gym and, uh, and, and basically buying out the whole place to get that photo shoot done for Stan. He chose that one. Number three, coffee was discovered by a goat herder. It was said that coffee was discovered by a goat herder in Ethiopia in the 1500s. He saw his goats eating coffee cherries. Afterwards, he observed a change in their behavior. They gained a high amount of energy, and they didn't sleep at night. The herder shared his findings with local monks, and then after they made a drink with coffee beans, they realized they could stay up all night and pray. Then they spread the word to the other Ethiopian monks, and it reached across the civilized world. Thank you to Ethiopia. Otherwise, I wouldn't like them very much because they raped my people. That's not a like that's not to be taken lightly, but I'm Sicilian. I'm part Sicilian, and 
the Ethiopians were not very nice to the Sicilians. Okay. But that's a fact for another day. Number four, <laughs> coffee helped Olympian Olympic athletes. Brazil couldn't afford to send its athletes to Los Angeles for the 1932 Olympics, so the government loaded them in a ship full of coffee, which was sold on the way to finance their trip. Holy smokes. <laughs> I, I'm glad I wasn't their business manager. Number five, Mecca banned coffee. Coffee was banned in Mecca in 1511. It was believed to stimulate radical thinking and idleness. Boy, they, did they did they not read the, the label? <laughs> Number six, add cream. Keep your coffee warm. Coffee stays warm 20% longer when you add cream. Anybody have a guess as to why? It's the fat. No shit. It is. It's the fat. The fat adds a, as, acts as an insulating agent, which causes the heat to stay in longer. Number seven, divorce. <laughs> divorce because of terrible coffee. In ancient Arab culture, a woman could only divorce her husband if he didn't like her coffee. Remember, add that one to the Wait, a woman could divorce, divorce her husband if he didn't like her coffee? Yeah, the only way a woman could divorce her husband in ancient Arab culture was if he didn't like her coffee. Damn, that's rough. By the way, if you're like nauseated at how many facts I'm, I'm spitting out, Stan was like, I need like rapid fire facts. So, I like it like that. All right, I like it like eight, that. Italian, like it. in, 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 in quotes, it's espresso. Italian espresso. The word espresso comes from Italian and means expressed or forced out. Espresso is made by forcing very hot water under high pressure to finely ground compacted coffee. If you didn't know that, now you fucking know. You know what else is a fun fact? It drives Stan absolutely insane when people say espresso. Yeah. Like, oh. I, it's one of those things that just make, or supposedly, I can't stand it. <laughs> I assume that's why they put in the in the fact espresso in, in quotation marks. So yeah, it's, it's espresso. Espresso. Speaking es of things that drive people wild, number nine, coffee is a fruit. Coffee beans grow on a bush. They are actually the pit of a berry, which makes them a fruit. That's so weird. It's fruit juice. There are two main varieties of beans, green and red. Red beans have a nicer smell and are less acidic. Red beans are used to produce lighter coffees. The longer that coffee beans have been roasted, the healthier they are. Decaffeinated coffee comes from a chemical process where the caffeine is taken out of the beans. That's messed up, dude. That's like cutting the balls off of your pet just to make them a little <laughs> less rowdy. Hey. The caffeine is then often sold to Coca-Cola. <laughs> what? <laughs> so basically all the decaffeinated caffeine like the caffeine they take out of coffee beans is sold to coca-cola good to know <laughs> all of it by the way and i'll give you i'll leave you with this because i can't help but raz all of my hemo coffee friends for this very fact and it's here on this fact list so i have i cannot i cannot forego it number 10 the most expensive coffee is made by cat poop. Ugh. Kopi Luwak is the most expensive coffee in the world. It comes from Indonesia and is made from beans digested from the Asian palm civet. In other words, it comes from cat poop. It sells for 350 uh, euro and up per kilo. So enjoy your poop. I don't know why you guys love ruined coffee that's been digested by things, but you keep <laughs> doing that. Spending lots of money on it, and that's a fact. This motherfucker here, stop it. Yes, I hate that one too, specifically. It's not a freaking ocean. <laughs> the word is specifically, not specifically. <laughs> oh man, not many things get to me, but that does when when words are like, yeah, messed up. That Amigos bad. and Co asks, do coffee beans dream at night when they sleep, vapor swagons? You'll have to wait until uh, the next time I go over coffee facts to get that one, my friend. Or dream facts. Yeah, <coughs> dream facts. A hundred dream facts. That's uh, that'll oh be crap. Next time. Continue rolling. I'll be right back. <laughs> Did you have more facts? I'm sure you're wondering. Is this show sponsored? <laughs> nope. My apologies. Did you just sit here in silence the whole time? No, I, I, I did a sponsor show. 
<laughs> oh, a sponsor shout out. Well, yeah. not a sponsor, but just want to say I appreciate all those that have come over from the green room, the green room at 7 p.m. Central over on the Frames Janklin Vapor channel. If you guys aren't watching that to get souped up for the stew, then you should because, uh, yeah, you see what I did there? Souped up for the stew? Yeah, bro. <laughs> uh-huh. Damn yeah, pun. go check out the green room uh, every Friday before the vape stew at 7 p.m. Yeah, Central. get warmed up. You know, basically, Hell yeah. if you want to rock out with your cock out, you got to pregame with your – me game <laughs> i was slitting to see where you went with that <laughs> we have a new thing tonight i don't know if any of you guys know but the reload 26 rta has come out tonight um it's got a lot of hype behind it i'm interested in checking it out so we're gonna do a little live build this evening and uh get down and dirty with the reload hopefully it's not all all machine oily because i did not clean it um probably going to give myself another dose of the covid hello wife i know tell the kids i love them my family just got home um very cool i've been home by myself all day doing nothing <laughs> but working um so we're going to take a look at the reload 26 i've got a special setup right here bam check that out we've got a little vape stew close-up action i'm not going to be able to see the chat very well while i do this little build action shit um while i do this little build action but the awesome panel members mr vapor swaggins and daily vape tv can see the chat just fine so proceed to uh make fun of me and uh we'll talk about the reload 26 after after i get to building it so look at this awesome packaging do you guys see this yet do you see it yeah i think some people are using that uh for other things i think that Dude. it would be really cool if someone were to like gut that and turn it into maybe like a, a an addy build stand or something like that like where you could actually you know it would be you know, cool to turn into um yeah a build stand like this with the the 510 on this side and then like you just swap the batteries and that'd be kind of cool um so here's what we're gonna do we're gonna take it out of the box here we're gonna do right. this quick and dirty look at how shiny this thing is bro let me put it down here here we go look at how shiny it is it's so shiny it's already got fingerprints on it it's so shiny um it's got a straight glass which is dope and it's got this cool little tool in it which is also dope look at that i like these tools so we're gonna use that there's nothing else in this package i don't think let me double check yeah, underneath oh goodies, there is man. there's a bag of goodies underneath is that a there's an extra studded pin and some grub screws and an extra pink insulator, pink peak, peak insulator. So let's get this thing. The top cap comes off like that. And I throw it across the floor. It's shed time. 810. <laughs> Got some fill holes right, whoops, fill holes right there. And this is funky because the airflow, the way the airflow works on this. Nick, have you, have you ever had one of the reload RTAs? The um the first one the smaller one, nope. You didn't have the smaller one, so you didn't get to use the the I guess it's the reload MTL. You didn't get to use it with the airflow like this, how it unscrews and opens up this big hole. Well, you got to realize I'm also on a four second delay here, so ah, my bad. Yeah, it's gonna be kind of difficult. Well, you know what? People oh. raved about that RTA though, the, the mouth to lung, and people are now raving about the 26. It was. For instance, my friend Frames Jacklin Vapor says it is the truth in all capitals. I've seen that. I'm going to put the straight glass on it. And <laughs> this is a dual coil. So what we're going to do is, is get closer here. And we're going to put some coils in this thing. I'm mainly doing this on the stew because I've been wanting to use this damn thing. I don't want to wait for another video time to do it. So yeah, Tuesdays <laughs> take a while. He's multitasking. Uh, Tuesdays take a while to come around. We're multitasking, and we can have a discussion about it. And uh, and you get to vape it. And I get to vape this? it. A non Barbie so, sized screwdriver. I agree, Anthony Michael C. It is a non Barbie. You size all screwdriver. are going to get to see. Those, for those of you that never catch like the Tuesday night that uh, little build reviews, like out of the box reviews that Stan does on the channel, or when we don't have a vape stew and he just decides to build something, <laughs> it's glorious. Just wait. Just do it. It'll be worth it. So, um, 
what I mean, have you guys noticed how the RTAs have become like a thing again lately? Like there's RTAs freaking everywhere. No, maybe. Sorry, I'm looking at the stream. Yes. Am I full I of love, shit? I, I, I absolutely love RTAs. I'm really glad that you finally got on board with RTAs after all the years I've been telling you to do it. What? Bro. That's you. You just wait. You're the one that always had an issue with RTAs. I should have got coils out before I started this. Let's put a couple of these coilology fused claptons in there. Um, Swaggins hated freaking uh, RTAs until recently. So you can just take that back, Vapor Swaggins, and tell the Dude, people let's why. Let's put it this way the winner writes history. Tell the people why you hated RTAs and uh, what happened to turn your life around. Dude, I have no idea what you're talking about. You have no idea what I'm talking about? Yeah, I don't. Well, I mean, you're you're right. You were the one who made me start liking RTAs again. But I don't know why I stopped liking RTAs. Probably because I've been vaping since 2014 and RTAs were a bitch for a very long time and they weren't worth it. Like now you can literally just put a coil in, put your wicks in with maybe because I've been vaping for a while, I have some skill. But regardless, I mean, <laughs> you can just throw your wicks in there and you're not worried. I mean, it, there were just little tweaks and little reasons why so many RTAs failed for me. Um, and all it really needs to do is just wick right. Let's well, be honest. Because RTAs, they, they, but they produce a different flavor than an RDA too. I mean, a lot of things are subtly muted compared to the RDA vape. And well, that's the I thing is that. the vape on RTAs has been a lot better um as of late like they've been getting a lot more flavorful um the air's been a lot better in a lot of them i'm really curious about this one uh i'm also very curious to hear what nick thinks about that subject um i mean yeah there's a lot of rtas coming out i think that not a lot of people have original ideas for rdas that's true do you Cost, think yeah. that Okay, you already know what I think about the subject. What? Dude, the reverie was very original. It's not its fault that it cut 90% of its owners. Oh, shut up. Will you stop saying that? Little known fact about that is that all the leftover reveries went to pizza shops across America. Oh, you guys suck. Dude, the gas gas mods. Oh, so Vapor's Odyssey just said uh, he ordered himself an RDTA, the gas mods Hala. And I haven't tried that, but I can honestly say that gas mods pumps out some pretty freaking awesome product for some pretty freaking awome prices. Like you're talking, you know, 20, 25 bucks brand new, you know, just came out for uh, what was that? Their V2 RDA, RSA or whatever it was. Um. Yeah. Gas mods, they do like it's kind of like uh, gas mods and uh, what's the name of uh, the wasp stuff? The gas mods and the wasp the nano stuff. and the nano RDTA. They're right in the same the same category. Really decent stuff at a um, at a really cheap price. So yeah, for I sure. I like the fit and finish of my gas mods RDA over my wasp nano. That's I mean. But that's it's semantics, I suppose. But I think it vaped better too. It was more of my style. I can't find my um, my. I don't know what happened to my little coil jig, so I'm having to use a thing that's too small and try not to stretch the coils out, uh, or tighten them up. You know what I'm saying, dog? I have seen the Imperia by uh, VWM Dane, but we'll save that for Sunday. Sunday, Sun. What happens on Sunday, Swaggins? The High Vape Forum. Robert Reagan says, "I never opened my Reverie, so it never got the chance to open me." <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, you guys suck. <laughs> the Reverie is one of my favorite RDAs. I love it, and it's right here. Disclaimer: bias. Um, totally biased. Let's let's be fair. Like I, I've been I've been rude about it. It never cut me, but it's freaking hilarious to talk about. So thanks for thanks for guilting me into breaking character, you dick. Um, <laughs> and uh, and I did. I brought a reverie. A reverie was one of the things I brought with me two summers ago when it came out. I it's went away. Two of them, right? Yeah, I went away to England, and I, yeah, I brought two of them with me. Out of like the three, I brought those and a cosmonaut. Um, so. It's, it didn't suck. It's just, you have to, it's, it's something like where it's like, you just have to 
build for it. And so if it's not your preference, it's not your vape. Like anything, like most things, it's like a lot of things in the mass market, they come out to meet many preferences. I mean, look at the Rye RDA. I mean, it did a good job of this. So it's not even the best example because it has lots of airflow configurations and it's a, it's a wonderful vape. But there, I mean, most of the time you see people trying to cater to a lot of different vape styles with one product. Um, and that's not the long game. Uh, the long game is to do multiple things. It's like have something be great at one thing as opposed to mediocre at multiple things, right? We were all looking for that. Same with RTAs. So if an RTA does a good job as a direct lung, just be a direct lung vape, man. Don't worry about cutting that airflow down to be, you know, a super restricted direct lung or something. Then you're going to get that turbulence or the whistle. And then you have a reviewer be like, oh, it whistles. It whistles when you cut the airflow down. And you didn't even intend it really to be that kind of a vape. So why don't you just get off your ass, grow a <laughs> set of balls and make a reverie. Just make sure it's not sharp like the one that's standing. Oh, geez. You know, I actually am in the same camp as that normally, um, but I have to look at the Gata, the QP Gata, and I have to say that the QP Gata is the one tank that I've ever used that did <coughs> mouth to lung and direct lung amazingly, both of them. Um, I never did a video on that tank, but it really is an awesome tank. So almost done here. Let me freaking cut this off here. Is there anybody asking questions or anything, or are they just like making fun of me like they always do? If there's a, uh, if if you want to go down into the description and hit the link for a, these are not the wicks you're looking for T-shirt. Feel free to do that. Support the channel. Um, Swaggins, are there are there any questions, or is it all making fun? Ah, uh, Fog Dog asks, is Swaggins Anit Semantic? Semantic. Anit Semantic. <laughs> Anit Semantic. And to that, I say, Fog Dog, I don't, I tight. don't speak freaky deaky Dutch. <laughs> <laughs> so sorry, guys. This is taking a little longer than I expected. <laughs> this is a Stan wicking video. <laughs> you notice how Stan doesn't have a wicking tutorial on his channel? And before you say there's no such thing, look at Rip Trippers, man. He did a bunch of them, and they were pretty awesome. But you'll never see Stan do a wicking tutorial. Like, what the hell is going on? Look at how much cotton you're wasting. What's man. wrong with my wicking? You're just bad at this. You're wasting I so am much not cotton. bad at You know who's bad at doing live stuff? Mr. Nick Bissett. Mr. Nick Bissett is bad at doing live stuff. What? Let's talk wow. about that for a second. What about it? You're bad at doing live stuff. Your thoughts? I don't know. I... I never intended to do live reviews or anything on my channel. Like starting off, I wanted to do recorded videos and edit and all that. But yeah, uh, yeah I don't know. The just kind of circumstances led me to do live streams now and I'm learning how to stream and all that. Usually with Savs and stuff, Jay did it. And that's why it was always Jay's fault. But other than that, uh, but get more into doing my live streams. That's all. I have noticed that um, you've stopped giving me so much shit about live streaming since you started doing it. <laughs> so I do. <laughs> I do yeah. appreciate that. Check that out. We got some. Oh, what up, girl? All some, right. Uh, Apple Paradise from the real, the real Stevie J is showing so much shade. Is throwing so much shade. I have to read it out loud. Okay. OMG, Stan, just stop ellipses you can't wick for shit dot dot i've told you this you've told me what uh-oh wait no that's fine i think that was just an exclamation of what he previously stated oh all right so this is a point one one in here and you know what we do on this <clears throat> channel is we uh we hedge our or we don't hedge our bets we go all in we fill the damn thing all the way to the top because we trust our wicking around here. There we go. All the way up. Put this thing on here. And uh, I'm ready to vape it. So this is a 26 millimeter. And I'm going to put it on top of the heavy hitter. Just because I can. And uh, because it's hybrid safe. Is, that, is there opinion. anybody you want to dedicate that setup to? Um, Stan. Okay. <laughs> what <do> you, <laughs> am I supposed to dedicate this setup to somebody? Yeah, dedicated to someone. Oh, um, setup here 
is dedicated to Mark Clough because the only skeleton key in existence. Rest in peace, Mr. Clough. Let's jump yeah. out. We'll vape on it. And uh, I want to hear what Nick and Swags have to say about the treachery they just witnessed. Do we want to talk about it more? You want to set yourself up for more ridicule? Why don't you stop wasting? I'm sorry that we don't all have dreamer money. Like, how much cotton do you have in that, you know, hidden beneath your uh, desk? What? I got to open up the juice flow. It's pretty cotton? clear. It's You're clear. just a horrible cotton waster. Yeah. Why am I a cotton waster? How dare you? This is the only cotton that was wasted. Those little cotton balls gave their life. As they should. A cotton is uh, not the only cotton that was wasted, my dude. There's way more cotton that you didn't use than that. So get out of here. You know what? All your hate it's is lost hate. on me, bro. You literally you pulled it back up top. So let's just, you know what? This is the great thing about live videos that are recorded, right? We can rewind, but we'll rewind hypothetically here because I'm right. We'll rewind hypothetically here and we'll just talk about the fact that before you said, let's go back up top and you guys can tell me what you thought about my blah, 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 blah. blah. Now we're back to the present. So you asked for our feedback. We give you feedback and you say it's hate. What do you want from us? <laughs> Listen I don't to know what to thing. do with my hands. I'm not just listening to you anymore. down by your side. Listen to this. Listen, you ready? Car ran good. It sounds, like, your, uh, it sounds like your belts need to be Woo! moved. Hot! Hot! They vented it. Much. Too much juice in there. Oh, this no. This is gotcha journalism, right? Oh, dude. I burned my tongue! I need to clean my room. So far, so good with the Reload 26. <laughs> and still working. I'm not doing the cloud comp stance. Damn it. There you are. You got to squat. Get some uh, weight in those knees. All the way down to the cankles. Mm. Bro, that's flavorful. Um, now, some Stan people... walks with weights around his ankles. Does the does the airflow being up like that to open the airflow, does that bother you? Do you think it's ugly? Yes. What about you, Nick? It looks like a tank that... It, that... it definitely <laughs> looks like looks... that's where you put the juice. Yeah, it kind of does, huh? It definitely looks better when the air flows down. But it doesn't really bother me that much. I, I I think I like it because of how much adjustment you actually get. I mean, if you think about it, every little every little movement on the turn around the threads is like a tiny little thousandth of an inch open. You know what I'm saying? Okay, engineer Stan. Dude, listen. Listen to your chat. They're asking for cloud comp stance in the background. Oh Let's gosh. go. Oh, my god! Get your eggplants in chat. Come on. But my room is a mess, and I don't want you to see my floor. All right, hold on. I didn't even have to throw eggplants up, but All right. I wanted to. Look, this is this is what you get right here. Mods up. Now. What? Five, four, three, two, one. Oh! <laughs> you count too slow! <laughs> All right, Stan's got a Stan's got a cough. Stan's gonna retire early. You're terrible at this, Nick. That's <laughs> that is standard fall <laughs> comp. All right. All right. Oh, why would you purge that? Oh, that looked painful too. It was. There's no way I'm actually gonna say <laughs> cloud comp it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Mouthful of lava, bad wicking stand, South Earn Comfort. Thank you for the two dollars. Thanks, Southern Comfort. <laughs> All for your pleasure. Oh, <laughs> it's wicking perfectly fine now. Thank you very much. Oh, it was weak, Voodoo. I don't know what you want out of me. All right, it was I'm worth the eggplants. Thanks, chat. I'm not a cloud comper. Look at this. Look at this hair. I need a haircut. So Dude, bad. stop talking about your hair. Unless you're going to shave it all and have a glorious rat tail that you braid down the back of your head, stop talking about it. Oh, you guys are so mean to me. My chest hurts so bad right now. That was Sorry, a terrible bro. idea, chat. <clears throat> oh, goodness. All right, so. So what do you think of it? Do you have you, have you any first um, impressions? You want, me to, you want me to tell you? Honestly, I like the way it looks better with the straight glass. Um the liquid in the chamber was just from me putting too much liquid on the wicks before I closed it up. 
it's completely uh, it's completely free and clear now. Um, it sounds crazy with the rowdy build in it. This is a point one one, uh, and you know it looks sexy. It kind of it kind of kills the look with unscrewing the cap for the airflow, but it has a significant amount of airflow. There's three holes in that thing. Uh, it's got tri airflow holes in the top. With it being top airflow, it's not going to leak on you unless you're holding it upside down like this. Um, you can put an 810 in it. Oh, it has does. a metal drip tip. Yeah, it's just like, look. It's like the, the, the 810 drip tip is sexy, but it's metal. So you've got that. Um, ow. I shouldn't have did that. Uh, the flavor on it is pretty damn good. I should have put like a 0 0.3 build in here or something. You know what? I think I got to take it off. This build's too rowdy. I think I got to take it off of Matt. My chest is really, really not liking it. Um, yeah, no, I'm, I'm definitely into it. It's, it's a very, uh, very tasty tank. It was very easy to build. It was very easy to wick. I don't have any problems with it. It's kind of pricey. Uh, I do wish it was, it was more brushed than polished, but that seems to be their thing. They like the gold and the polished stainless and stuff. Reload. So uh, I'm into it, man. Like I want to hear what Nick's opinion is of it. He needs to get a hold of one. Did you say whose coils you ended up using? I used some Coilology coils. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Okay. Just because they were the so, first ones I grabbed. So none of your, uh, you know, coil building buddies here. You know, like the four or five people in chat that probably sent you coils. Well, unfortunately, I used all of my Steez Brones coils. Um, I've used pretty much all of my Robert Eel coils. Um, I have some stay puffed Nick coils left, but I'm saving them for Ardent because he really wants me to put them into Ardent. Um, and that's pretty much all I got, man. I'm out of J Boy coils. Um, actually, I'm not out of them. They're on the website. But yeah, I, you know, shut up, Nick. I totally support the, the coil builders. <laughs> if I had Steez Brown's coils, or some of the Robert Heel coils or something like that, or uh, a smaller pair of coils from Mr. Stay Puffed, I definitely would have used those. Damn, I totally to forgot to mention what coils are in my builds again this week, but... That's okay. You don't have to do that. That's true. Ruby Lip said dunk. it would make it too long, so I took her advice. Do you find that stainless tips give off more lip gunk? I don't, I don't really find that on metal drip tips. Ugh. Oh, no, that's your tooth gunk. You just got to stop toothing it. Ew. I do have a polished keen by me, but something has happened to where Dude. I tightened it down too much and now it's stuck on the top of Stan, my... if you like detox in 3 milligram, you would love oh, detox in 12 milligram mouth alone. Here's the thing about the keen, Dane Honey Bentley. crisp apple creme brulee. The keen is a 25 on top. Or a 28. It's not a 26, but it doesn't look bad on the Keen, honestly. It looks like it's supposed to be like that because a little dip right here and then a little bump and dip there doesn't really look bad on the Polish Keen. Yeah. That's actually it's like an extra of, notch. It's kind of a dope little setup. I'm going to use it like that. Um, Yeah, that's the that's the Reload 26. I'm, I've been interested in this thing. I've been wanting to build it, so I took this opportunity this evening to do so. Um, I know you guys sat through it and I appreciate you guys doing that, but it is a damn, damn good tank. I mean, it, it's sexy looking. The flavor's good. The airflow's good. There's, it's like the, um, velocity with all the airflow just because turning the, I mean, it's seriously, it's the tiniest amount of airflow adjustment. You can really super fine tune it, which is a plus in my opinion. And I don't really find it that ugly with it open. So, so this is brand new. Just came out hot off the presses. Where can you get them? Can't talk about that. Can't talk about that. Thank you. You can YouTube. Google it. Sons of bitches. It's like Vandy Google Vape it. sent me the Berserker 2, and I unboxed it live on camera on my live stream. And then that night, I got an email from Vandy Vape saying, don't show it off. Don't show what off? The Berserker 2. Ah! <laughs> Why? Why don't they want you to show it off? Because you are you went like in depth in your oh, video. Oh yeah, no, I went close up. I showed yeah. the little airflow <sighs> thing. 
he showed the deck. I even asked him in the chat. I'm like, show us the deck. He pulled the whole damn thing apart and went all into it. Well, no, they said, okay. They said, don't do a review. That was not a review. That was just looking at it. That was, uh, yeah, one of those videos that explodes it, except in real life. Did you inquire as to why they said don't do a video on it? No. Why would I? (laughs) Well, I I mean, maybe it's dangerous. Maybe the peak insulator's messed up or something. Oh. No, yeah, dude. Paranoid, no, dude. that's the thing. It might, it might be like, oh shoot, there's something wrong with this. It's going to self destruct. You okay. should, uh, you should tear it apart, and make sure that oh, everything really? is. Uh, Hold on, I'm just looking for the email now. Oh, there it is. Oh, so Buck, Buck and Shoot Ranch asks, <coughs> when is at Daily Vape TV going to have a Fresh Bill Friday for the God Coil by Twisted Messes? <laughs> When I can have him on as a guest. And he can talk you through it. And you have six hours to spare. (laughs) Well, it'll be a six part series. There you go. That's a great idea. Thank you, Buck and Shoot Ranch One. All right. So let's jump down. Let's go. I'm I'm thinking it's time to play some bets. Now that we looked at a piece of hardware, we talked a little bit, we learned a little bit, uh, we had some fun. I think it's time to play some bets. What kind of Nick are we getting tonight? Are we getting Sexy. Grumpy Nick? Are we getting Haberdashery Nick? Are we getting... Um, are we... <laughs> are we getting, getting Peekaboo Nick? We're getting stuck in a box, Nick. <laughs> uh, Hovag, the Black Ardents are back up on the site that I can't say the name of. But you know... You know what site I'm talking about. The site of which we shall not speak. The site of which we shall not speak of. (laughs) Nick, guess what time it is. It's time for a little bit of today in the vape shop. (laughs) Boom! (laughs) Haberdashery. Um, so yeah, this week in the vape shop, I really didn't have anything planned. But how, how, like... Every week, bro. Every week you do this segment. Were you every... watching Jurassic Park 3 <laughs> this week? The worst one ever? No, we watched Back to the Future 2, the better one, or the best one in my opinion. But yeah. Back um, to the Future 2? Is that the one with the hoverboards? Yeah. Back to the Future 3, Wild Wild West edition. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, oh dude, the freaking t- cut me! Oh, breaking news, everybody! Now Look. he keeps a reverie in his Addy stand just so he can do that <laughs> on command. No, it did. It cut me legit. It cut me twice on my finger. Ouch! How? You need a band? I don't know. That I guess it was from when I was taking the uh, deck apart. You know what's good about those? You can chew them off when you're hungry for a little snack. Gross. Ooh. Nick, Nick, continue, please. (laughs) Right. So this week in the vape shop, uh, nothing really interesting happened. We're running out of stuff. Okay. So, okay. Right now, things are busier than ever for for us because Massachusetts is closed still and also has a flavor ban. So we're already getting those people. um, And also... Uh, what was the other thing I was going to say? Massachusetts closed. New York is now closed. Yeah. So. You're getting New Yorkers. Yeah. I legit had people coming from Albany, which is about an hour's drive. You know, and it's crazy, man. People will drive for hours just to get vape stuff. They stock up or are they driving hours for a puff bar? (laughs) Well, Well, I'll be back tomorrow. The smart ones stock up, but (laughs) the, uh, yeah. So also Massachusetts just banned the wraps and flavored stuff, like flavored chew and also. Yeah. Menthol. Menthol. Yeah. Menthol is completely banned in Massachusetts. You can't buy a pack of Newports and I've had. Fascist, fascist Massachusetts, man. This isn't America. (laughs) So many people come into my store looking for cigarettes. You got menthol cigarettes? Seriously? No. <laughs> yeah, like, why would you go? What? 
you go to a freaking gas station. There's one across the street, and they come in my store looking for cigarettes. I'm like, go to Daily Vape TV Vapor Shop and uh, buy To be cigarettes. fair, it does say electric smoke shop. <laughs> mm, it says electronic. Mm, it says electronic cigarettes. I, I suppose may, maybe people think it's an electronic store and, and a cigarette. Yeah, store. yeah, like a Radio Shack, but you can buy, you know, Paul Oopsie. Mall cigarettes. And <laughs> yeah, raisins, beer all over my desk. bags of dirt. And okay, I see a lot of interesting ones in chat today. Um, some of which are correct. <laughs> New but... York Nick. <laughs> New York. <laughs> Non-committal Nick. New Bruns Nick. What the? Needy Nick. Oh, that's all fog dog. New Yak. So New Yak, what's a New Yak? New yak. Uh, Boodoo said he's trying to say New Yak, as um, opposed to an old Yak. New York. Oh. So, as to answer all of your questions in in chat here, which Nick is this Nick? Um, I would have to say it's a combination of Happy Nick, Thirsty Nick, Sleepy Nick, and Silly Nick, and Dingleberry Nick, Sexy Nick. And a little sexy. A little sexy. A little sexy. Just a little? What about habit? You sell yourself Nick? short. It, it, would, it would be, yes, the conclusion of that would be haberdashery Nick. Yes. Haberdashery Nick. <laughs> Nick, you me. need a new hat. <laughs> I do need a new hat. <laughs> All right. Well, Nick is a. Uh... Non-committal is what I'm going with. He won't commit to a single uh, feeling. So that's I what Nick... A lot of people think they, they did it. You know, they got it right. Did you wear your gloves? Everyone. Do you have those shields so people don't sneeze on you? We do. We have eighth-inch plastic lining our wall now, or, or our counters. So you can just peel it off at, at the end of this, this nightmare? Oh, yeah, it's completely removable. Lanolin. Lanolin. It's the police. It's the police. Lanolin. That sounds like something uh, uh, our president would say over and over again. Lanolin. Lanolin. All right. Linoleum. Vape stew at gmail.com. If you want to get an email in, make sure you do it now because we're about to get to that segment here. Anthony Romella says, so snick. Um, <clears throat> non-combustion Nick. It's a Nick in a box. <laughs> Nick free Nick. No, he's vaping one and a half, my dude. He's it's it's a he's on Nick Nick tonight. It's, there it's you go. a little Nick Nick. Um, I'm not a going to. Nick. Like it. I'm not going to give you guys any information because uh, I would be a hypocrite if I told you any information because yeah, I told I told Heavy not to give any information yet. Just yeah, know do. there's news coming on the heavy hitter very soon very very soon oh look it's an advertisement <laughs> <laughs> a wild advertisement appeared it's time for vape stew at gmail.com segment i don't know what to call it so it's just called vape stew at gmail.com wow. um so creative yeah here we go we're gonna check out the emails and from the emails we will Read them, answer, ask, and uh, make your comments. We have one email. Wait. We have one email. We have one email <laughs> from Mr. Alex Davila. Thank you very much for being here, Alex. Love this He's... segment. He says, where's my honorary reviewer copy of the heavy hitter? As a representative of the Hispanic Coalition, I believe I have some perks. Please say they will be available soon. Um, Alex Davila, the uh, the heavy hitter, is not available yet. And uh, when there are reviewer samples, if you are on the list, I will send you one. If you're not on the list, bro, I'm sorry. I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. Um, that's that. <laughs> I want the all titanium. Titanium. You want the you want the completely rhodium plated solid silver edition? Vibranium, the stuff that's a that's illegal in 50, 50 of the sixty three states. Sorry, I'm from the future. <laughs> McFly, <laughs> hello, McFly. Well, there's no more emails for the evening, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna jump to. I tried to milk that one for a couple more seconds. You know what I'm saying? That's okay, man. Um, 
You know what? I, I w- burned through a lot of the show tonight uh, and didn't plan a whole lot of big, long stuff because I wanted to keep it kind of short. Swaggins and I talked about it ahead of time. Um, I don't know if you guys can hear it in my voice, but it gets harder and harder and harder. So we are doing it a little bit short tonight. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to start the final segment of the show tonight. I promise the shows will go back to their normal two hours when I'm feeling a little bit better. Um, but I'm doing my best just to get through the, the hour, hour and a half that we have been doing. So here's the deal. This or that question of the week. It's time. Thanks, Yoda. Yoda? This or that question of the week. It's time for. <laughs> oh, did I do that? Yeah. <clears throat> All right, so I got a thing here, a list of 71 of the most ridiculous would-you-rather questions. So they're pretty, pretty interesting. Um, Pick the best one. <laughs> there's not a best one. They're all pretty disturbing. Oh. Um, all right, you know what? Here you go. Here's something. This one's not terrible. But it is hard. It's a hard thinker. Would you rather be constantly itchy or constantly sticky? Oh, God. (laughs) (sighs) We don't have to discuss how you got either way. But which would you rather be? Constantly icky or constantly sticky? Is it like (laughs) sticky on your hands or like itchy in a certain spot? Like, what's the deal? I hate what? stickiness, man. I hate both. I don't know how I'm going to answer that. Being itchy would motivate me to like get things done. I would be, you know, I would never sleep. Just think about how much time you lose to get things done when you're sleeping. I'm going to choose itchy over stitchy. Think about how miserable you Because only stitches get though. stitches. Zap. How miserable would you be, though? Like, think about it. You'd be constantly wanting to scratch, and when you did, you'd probably get to a point where you had, like, like red skin all the time, like, painful. Yeah, but know? have you ever been in, like, a high-pressure shower? Yeah, it'll, it'll get the it'll, – it'll basically, that'll be my, like, release for the day. If I got the job done and, and reached my goals, then I would get that high-pressure shower, and it would just <laughs> – it would be amazing. I'm going to go with Sticky. Because I feel like after a while, you'd get used to it, and you'd just pretend you're a slug. Yeah, you could be like Spider-Man. Just... Except every time you went shopping, it would suck. Every time you picked up anything, it would suck. It would stick to you. Could you climb walls? Yeah. <laughs> Anthony Ramella says, itchy. I hear Smack cares that. <laughs> itchy. I'm not going to tell you why you're sticky, Jenny Sin. <laughs> Sticky and itchy. Stitchy. Stitchy. Um, itchy. So, so Nick, are you picking itchy? No, I'm picking uh, sticky. you picking sticky. <laughs> you just, you'll get used to it. Gosh. Okay. I guess you get used to being Unless it's sticky, nothing. icky. There's, Think there's about nothing. e-liquid. E-liquid on your hands all the time. <laughs> Ugh, it would annoy the piss out of me for a while, but I think I would get used to it. What about nothing you, Swagger? Better than it, nothing better than an empty bladder. What are you asking me? Swag itchy because he would get into a hard shower, right? Or he would get hard into a shower. What, I, I missed it. What did you say? You get into a hard pressure my, shower. Uh, desk is falling apart. You want to do some science? <laughs> <laughs> um, I oh, sticky sucks. I can't stand to be sticky. Sure, sure. Um. I'm going to say itchy, and here's why. The reason why I'm going to say I would rather be itchy is because there'd be so many days, so many times throughout the day, like sitting against a chair with a scratchy shirt. You know, there's be so many times during the day that you would just get like that. Ah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I don't know if the you release, do that. it's like, like a sneeze. Yeah, it would immediately start again, but at the same time, it would be like just like seconds at a time of relief uh, in between what the pains. Though, like, what if it goes from your back to like, you know, your your nuts or something? It's your whole body, bro. Your whole body's itchy. Oh no! And your whole body's sticky. 
Like, I get, I'm a like slug. your armpits, what? That's, your, this, this your fingers, sucks. your armpits, your face, your butt cheeks, like everything's sticky. This just sucks all around. I'll be a slug. I don't care. You know what? My kid is sticky all the time. It's weird. Got like <laughs> clammy, clammy hands. And yeah, stuff. dude. All kids are. Oh, I don't know how they live like that. And then they don't want to take a bath. Itchy only that? affects me. Sticky affects me and them. everyone else, man. Yeah, Jason said the wife you... would never touch you again if you were sticky all over. She's like, hi, how you doing? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Babe, if <laughs> you're all itchy. I'd Babe, rather hold be still. itchy. Hold still. I want to be the big spoon. Hold still. Let's start a fire. <laughs> Come on, babe. Let's rub together until we start a fire. Oh, that feels great. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it would really go. <laughs> I think like itchiness is like contagious, like sneezes, you know? So like if you start going like this, someone in, like someone out there is probably going, oh, I got a little itch too. Oh. Like, <laughs> like, when, like when you find the one bug that crawled on you like in bed and then you freak out and you feel like there's bugs all in your bed. Yeah, bro. Yeah, bed bugs. No, no, no. no. <laughs> Reminds not... me of uh, you know that time we got that Airbnb in Houston. Bugs, not drugs, man. <laughs> Houston loves big bugs and useless roads. Quager, <laughs> my kids are not allowed to touch my electronics. <laughs> They're just not allowed. <laughs> they ask me, I say no. Like that's because it. <laughs> it does. They leave grease and shit all over the screen. Ugh. Like just. Oh, they're dirty, dirty, dirty individuals. I love my kids, but they're dirty, dirty little people. Um, thank you very much, everyone. Them. What? Give them a high pressure shower. Mm -hmm. Dude, freaking pressure wash their ass. Um, <laughs> thank you very much for being here. I greatly appreciate all of you guys. Make sure that if you have any questions, comments, um, you want to extend the conversation from this week or last week or anything that you absolutely want to get across to us, you can vapestu at gmail.com. If you have any suggestions for Throw It Down a Hill, Vapes do at gmail.com. I'll get those passed along to Mr. Nick Bissett. Um, thank you very much. I appreciate Oh, dude, you guys, they're getting into some conversations in the chat. Man. <laughs> you guys have been awesome this evening. I greatly appreciate you, and I hope to see you next week. Thank you for keeping the chat rolling. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for hitting that like button. Make sure you guys check out next week, 7 p.m. Central, over at the Frames Janklin Vapor Channel. Uh, the Green Room gets it started. And then after the Green Room is the Vape Stew. And then after the Vape Stew is, is it Amigos & Co.? Or no, Fra they do. go ahead. Amigos and Co. Yeah, they do like the Late Late Show or something right after this. I can't remember. There's another show after this, um, so go check that out as well. Yeah, we there's can't, content. We can't remember. I can't remember. That there's con content all Friday night for you guys yeah. out there, uh, vape content. So you guys. Oh can find yeah, something. wait, maybe it's for British guys. Blow me. Friday Vape Club. Friday Vape Club. I don't know. Four four British guys blow me. <laughs> We love you, British eyes. You guys have a wonderful evening. You guys stay safe. You guys have a fantastic rest of your weekend. And remember, mm, grab a good vape, grab a sexy woman, and get that itch taken care of. <laughs> vape on, friends. <laughs> oh, jeez. Jeez, Louise. Thank you.